The Fleur de Lys Tavern in Losenford's beer garden has lovely evenings. As the sun sets behind the Warwickshire hills, drinkers stare out over the Stratford Canal and houseboats. The level of privacy that comes with rural life must have been an additional draw for Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas, for his chart success with the Jonas Brothers and for her international fame from her role in Game of Thrones. Earlier this summer, the couple frequented the establishment without their two young children to enjoy beverages together. They were hardly given a glance by the local populace. Last week, a staff member remarked, they were sitting outside together because it was nice out. No scenes or indications of conflict were present. Even as late as July 21st, the couple was spotted in another inn, the nearby gastropub The Saxon Mill, this time with their kids, her parents, and other relatives. Once more, Everything seemed good. Clearly, the idol has come to an end. Last week, Turner's brother told the Mail that the couple's impending divorce was stressful, especially for her parents, Andrew and Sally. Three different court cases involving the couple are being heard in the US and the UK. Sophie and the kids are currently stuck in New York due to a court order. Four days of mediation at a lawyer's office in New York began on Wednesday. If they are unable to come to an agreement, a trial will take place in January at the Federal Court in Manhattan. Showing up using Zoom Tuesday's court appearance, Sophie appeared upbeat. Their two girls are reportedly residing with her at the home of her friend, Taylor Swift. The lawyers for her estranged spouse were in attendance, and it's understandable why Sophie was grinning. If there is one lesson to be learned from the turbulent events of the last three weeks, it is this. Don't mess with Sophie Turner. She and the character she portrayed in Game of Thrones, Sansa Stark, the Queen of the North, share a sense of the warrior. Since she is proving to be an obstinate foe with a strong nerve, even though Jonas obtained the first round of the divorce battle by filing on September 1st, apparently without his wife's knowledge. She has retaliated by accusing Jonas in a court file of refusing to hand over the girls' passports so they may return to England with her and demanding the immediate return of children wrongfully removed or wrongfully retained. She has done this by invoking the Hague Convention on International Child Abduction. According to Turner's attorneys, she wants to move to the UK with her kids, which was previously allowed by her husband. He contends that they should reside in Florida with him, where he formerly owned a home. Her side humiliated him by submitting a copy of a letter he sent, in which he expresses his intense desire to reside in the Oxfordshire home on which they have exchanged contracts. Taylor Swift, standing by Turner, has been a further PR success. Swift is not just a global megastar and the queen of heartbreak. She was also a former flame of Joe Jonas. Swift was famously dumped by Jonas in 2008 in a 25-second phone call. The serving of vengeance is frigid. The Turner-Jonas marriage was always a relationship between two very different people. He's a 34-year-old Arizona native who is a few inches shorter than his wife and the son of an ordained clergyman. He was famous from a young age, much like her. She is a willowy country girl from a prosperous middle-class family. Her father is an accomplished businessman, and her mother was a teacher who quit her work to watch over her daughter while she appeared in Game of Thrones. Turner revealed in an interview that she began acting at the Warwick Playbox Theatre when she was just three years old. I grew up in a small village in Warwickshire. An upbringing in the country was incredibly lovely. We had three small barns, one for each of us kids, and a paddock out back where horses used to roam, she added. She was persuaded to try out for the popular television series Game of Thrones by her acting school instructor. The show is based on the works of George R. R. Martin. At the final audition in London, I told myself, I'll die if I don't get this part. I hadn't even told my mother about the initial auditions. Sansa and I are too familiar. I have to understand it. 
Her mother accompanied her on the set as a chaperone for the first three years. When the series began, she was 14 years old. When it ended, she was 22. When she was 23 years old, she was introduced to Jonas through acquaintances, and the two quickly became engaged. A tiny wedding in Las Vegas came first, then a larger celebration at the Hotel du Cap in France. It had a fairy tale vibe. Delphine was born in Miami, Florida in 2022, while Willa was born in California in July 2020. Aside from a part in the 2022 television series The Staircase, Turner hardly ever worked. The couple and their kids left their Miami home in April of this year and travelled to the UK. They hired an old farmhouse adjacent to Lowsonford, which is close to Henley and Arden, as was revealed in court filings this week. They had already celebrated Christmas there once, and they had such a great time that they decided to go back. Sophie is close to her parents, who still reside in the neighbourhood in a sizable separate house, and she grew up close by, just outside of Royal Leamington Spa. Willa attended a nearby nursery school, according to Turner, and Delphine was registered with a local doctor, which was confirmed by one of the mothers there. They were here for the summer term with their little girls, according to a parent, with a link to the nursery. I am aware that they had a rental at Lowsonford. Everyone was gushing about how well known they were, but at the end of the academic year, we learned they wouldn't be returning in September. The reason for this is that the couple spent the summer looking at houses before deciding to purchase a £7.5 million grade a two listed villa in Oxfordshire as their everlasting residence. Prior to Jonas's divorce petition, the move in date was set for December. Turner began shooting the ITV drama Joan, which centres on a jewel thief in the spring. The kids travelled to the United States in August, where Jonas is on tour, so they could hang out with him throughout the day. According to Turner, the intention was for them to visit her again the following month, pending her filming commitments. Turner claimed that the couple had a phone disagreement on August 15th, Jonas's birthday, according to his account. Her attorneys claim that the party's marriage broke down very suddenly. On September 1st, he filed for divorce in Florida. Her side claims that on September 5th, media stories were how they first learned about it. A shared decision to amicably end the marriage was mentioned in a joint public statement. However, a story that blamed Turner for the breakup started spreading via gossip websites. It was claimed that her partying was what caused the rift since she regretted missing out on the adventures of a young, carefree lady. Additionally, according to the gossip website TMZ, Jonas was persuaded that the marriage was ended after hearing or seeing something on a ring doorbell video. Now it's said that Jonas overheard her disparaging him on it. The source claimed it wasn't anything more than that, but that was the last straw. The Florida divorce lawsuit claims that the children had lived in the state for six months prior to the marriage and asks the court to uphold their joint prenuptial agreement. Three weeks later, Turner retaliated by bringing a groundbreaking lawsuit in a New York court, citing the Hague Convention Against International Child Kidnapping. The aggressive legal action undoubtedly appeared to shake a spokesman representing Jonas. He stated last week, This is a regrettable judicial dispute with a marriage that is tragically coming to an end. When terms like abduction are employed, it is at best deceptive and at worst a grave abuse of the judicial system. The kids weren't kidnapped. The children, who had been in Joe's custody for the previous three months with both parents' consent, are now living with their mother. The sole purpose of Sophie's petition is to transfer the divorce proceedings to the UK and to permanently remove the children from the United States. Regarding the public relations battle, Jonas's agent added that the singer has already disavowed any and all statements purportedly made on his behalf that were disparaging of Sophie. They were created without his consent and do not align with his beliefs. 
His goal is that Sophie would rethink her extreme legal stance and proceed in a more positive and private way. After that, there was a hearing in Florida when the judge declared that he would handle the divorce and any custody issues in Miami in December. Turner and Jonas have decided to share custody and live in New York, while Turner's application is processed there. Turner, according to Jonas's attorneys, also filed for divorce in the UK through her local law firm, Harbottel and Lewis. When speaking to the Mail this week, Michel M. Gervais, a partner at Blanc Rome LLP, who does not represent either side, called Turner's current strategy very smart and said it reminded her of the line from the antagonist of the TV show, The Wire. When you come at the king, or in this case, the queen, you better not miss. Miss Turner's lawsuit under The Hague in NY Federal Court was a wonderful legal manoeuvre and one that has a lot more substance than Mr Jonas filing for divorce in Florida, she continued. Kidnapping cases are governed by treaties between the United States and contracting nations like the UK, and both the US State Department and the UK will closely monitor them. If Miss Turner prevails, custody will then be decided by a UK court. The divorce case against Mr. Jonas in Florida should be immediately stayed due to Miss Turner's submission. Gervais continued by saying she thinks Turner has an excellent chance of bringing the kids back to the UK and having the divorce finalized here as a result. Turner claims in court records that England is a safe location to raise a family and that the party's shared plan was to purchase the property together and raise their children in the lovely home and English country surroundings. For their family, both parties were thrilled with the move. Even though it will now only be the three of them, it appears as though their goal is still within grasp.